seems this is the ideal time to be a startup business looking for investment funding in Cincinnati. Our top story on the front page of the Business Courier this week, another venture capital firm that has completed its initial round of fundraising for its second early stage investment fund. Downtown base Allos Ventures raised more than $20 million in the first week of March. With additional investments later this year, Allos, which means hello in Greek, will reportedly end up with between $30 million and $40 million in this second fund. Allos raised its first fund two years ago and is invested in four companies. Allos targets companies that are ready to move beyond the angel investors and seed stage investors like Cincy Tech, a locally based firm that provides seed capital to tech companies. Blue Chip Venture Company is another company, which we've recently told you about, that's also raising investment funds for local startups. So how does the process of raising and receiving investment capital work? And are we seeing more now for some reason? To talk about that, reporter Steve Watkins, who wrote the front page story, joins Business Courier editor Rob Dahlmeyer. Gentlemen. Brian, thank you very much. Yes, Steve, thanks for being here. Uh, before we get into Alice specifically, I wanted to ask you a more basic question. If I, if I want to start a business or if I have a business and I, I need money, what's the difference between going to a bank and going to a venture capitalist? A bank will typically provide uh, loans to companies, debt, and uh, venture capital is literally buying a portion of your company. Also, banks typically aren't going to take the kind of risk that a venture capital company like Allos w is willing to take. And is there a, is there sort of a threshold to get in if, if you're a if you're a fund like Allos and you're raising money? Where where are they getting that money? Allos is raising money from a lot of investors, mostly wealthy individuals, and in Allos's case, anyway, they're mostly local people. Allos has two offices, one here and one in Indianapolis, and most of their investors are local to one of the two markets. And these are people who are looking for an alternative in addition to their stock investments, something that carries a little more risk, of course, but also along with that, a lot more potential for a higher reward. And they also have to trust that the people running these funds know what they're doing because they're, like, as you said, they're, they're buying a stake. A absolutely. And Al Ellis has done pretty well with its first fund. We don't have final numbers, but partway through that process, as of about six months ago, they had uh, generated a return of about 58% for investors. So that's pretty hefty in this kind of a market. Why are we seeing so much, as Brian mentioned, uh, Blue Chip just did this. Uh, we've seen a lot of this lately. You've done a lot of stories on this. Why now? A lot of it has to do with the economy. A lot of investors, some of these uh, wealthier individuals, are willing to take a little more risk now than they were, say, two or three years ago when the economy looked pretty dicey, um, the market didn't look good, um, th things just weren't uh, looking all that uh, bright for investments like this. So a lot of it is uh, economy related and um, also uh, on the opposite side of things, the companies that uh, venture capital companies invest in are starting to pop up and ready to grow and so they need this capital. Great. Well, I'm sure we'll hear more about similar funds soon. Thanks for being here.